Hi everyone, it's Doris at DF Designs. I am not in my studio today, I'm at Joe Patty's. She's going to teach me some things about acrylic pouring. So, why don't you come along and watch as I learn about acrylics. Most of it to be, that's where you blow first. Because that's going to be the bulk of the white. Well, I want most of it to go this way. Okay, but so I... then you're going to run the line on top of the blue right there, okay. like on the very edge. And then blow that way, and then we'll turn the canvas around. Now, should I do any little lines up here? Uh, not yet. Well, here's the thing. Um, it's going to spread out. Oh, okay. So only if you want the white lines out there, you can. But usually when this is all dry, you can go in there and make little white lines. That way they don't spread out. But if you okay, want to do it, spread do it out, on top of the blue, but right next to sand. Right? Anyway, start off the canvas so you get a good steady line. Like, go ahead and pour some over here. There you go. Now squeeze hard. There you go. And this nice steady line. Oops. Uh oh. Yeah, I see what I did. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. That's I okay. Will wipe it off. Yep. Yeah. You can suck it back up. I, I use a syringe. You want me to get a syringe out and suck that out? No, no, Here. no, no. It's fine. Okay, because see this? This is a trick. I can suck a lot of that out of there so you don't have too much in one spot. Yeah. Right? Okay. But always remember that and see like when I made the making a big blue, I took some and I, I squared like that across. So you could put white out there if you, only if you want the white to mix. Okay, now I should blow it with a straw, you said, yeah. right? Yeah. But you don't have to. Now remember that you're, if the more you blow, the worse it's going to get. You could end up way out here. So you have to ask yourself, like, you could leave it the way it is or, and blow it this way. It's already going that way. Save some to blow back. Now, hang on. Let me show you something. If you don't go keep blowing in one straight line, you're going to get like this. See? Okay. So okay. that's up to you, though, however you want your painting. How is this helping out? People that stop and start and stop and start, you get loops of paint. Okay. Now I should turn it around and try to blow some of it back. Yeah, be careful turning it so you're not tilting. Well, here, I can just do it this way. Yeah, I've done it like that, too. Or you could take the blow dryer and do it. But with the blow dryer, you take the chance of getting a lot of the blue in there. Okay, now, what you're going to have to do is put more white on there and blow it again, back in. Okay. Or, oh, this, to, to or, first can, blue. or you can hold it up and tilt it a little bit and see what happens. Slowly, a little at a time, right? Okay, there. Now so you I, can. Now I would. Now I would blow that back in there. You want me to turn it for you? No, 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 no. Because okay. it's all covered in paint. So now you want me to blow that out a little bit? Is what you're saying? No, what I was saying is there's a lot of blue on the beach. Did you want more white? You could put white right here. Oh, and blow. okay, okay. I but see. But that's up to you. I don't know if you no, want. No, I I see what you mean. So put it on the sand and blow it over right, the blue. Right. Right. Or blow it back into the sand to get the blue away. You know, because you don't want that much blue. But it's the perfect color of blue to be on the sand, though. You did good there. You picked out the perfect color for the beach on the sand. I'm going to cover up your canvas right there. So you see how prettier that is? Yeah. Pretty. The harder you blow, the more cells and lacing you're going to get. But you just have to remember how far out do you want to go. You could blow the hell out of it. Oops, sorry, it's on your channel. You could blow it and then tip it back. Just edit that out. Blow it real hard to get the cells and then tip it back a little if you want it. I am going to blow some of it out a little bit more. Yeah, it's your design. You, you do what you feel you, you want to do to make it your way. I don't work with these paints like this. They're, they're way too thick for me. I can't deal with thick paints because it's hard to get a design and I, I don't know I'm just such a blow dryer person I just blow dry my design okay I gotta add I think I need to add a little bit more white right here yeah go ahead because I got 
like a solid line of blue right there. But remember, when you go to cover it, you got to use some foot powder or something and a little toothbrush to get all that out of the sand before you put a clear coat on it. Oh, I know that. Right. But what I'm saying is that with the sand, the sand has silicone in it, you definitely have to use a really light toothbrush. A lot of people just, and normally I use my fingertips with the rubber glove because your fingertips are oily. Remember that. But, so have a glove on when you use your foot powder or your powders. But with the sand, you have to have a toothbrush. You're gonna to have to use a, a light brush or a toothbrush. And then make sure, and then I run them under the sink in warm water and soap. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I wanna get a little bit of white up here. So I wanna do like a little line. Then what you need to do is pour, did you want silicone in it? Or do you just yeah. want white? No, this okay. is, no, this pour is it on the side and then take another stick and that way you can dip that and you make the design you want so okay, you don't I'll... make a mistake. You're gonna have an overflow of white from squeezing it out of the bottle. Ah, oh, okay. Here's a stick. Here's a nice clean little stick. That way you can get what you want. Or you can wait till it's dry and use a paintbrush and then do another layer and that looks 3D. And then run it, the, run it all the way across so you don't get, you know, you could tilt it to the right and tilt it to the left. You remember east and west. That yeah. Well, I just wanted it to be some little lines. I just, right. I didn't want really big waves. Right. But now that you've gone, see, look, that's pretty. And you can go back in and swirl it too, like. But it'd be careful with your tilting. See, these now. have to be little back here because the farther away, they gotta look smaller. Right. Now see, this one needs to be a little bit longer and wider. Right. And I would hit this and go like that to get rid of the, so they don't look like fish swimming. There you go. Perfect. Yes, Doris. Yes. <laughs> well, see, I don't know. See, normally when you do this with resin, you would do this, and you, but you wouldn't put your stick in there. Right. You can move that one too. Move it out more because it's really thick. Move it out so they don't look like fishies. And a lot of people, because it just looks like it's flowing over onto a beach and it's foamy because you got the silicone in there. Mm -hmm. If you use just plain white, you don't get the silicone dots. You don't get Oh, that's the... okay. I don't mind that. Right. That's why I asked you first. These are little waves. Right. I think it's a very pretty, I think it's a very pretty beach, Doris. I need one up here. I need a little one up here. It looks great. Very pretty. Okay. I think she's done. Now, do you want to take a paintbrush and dip that and do the sides? Um, See how that is over here? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. You can do that. And then when it's, it's dry, at, when it's dry at home, I will just um, paint this the same color. Right. I'm not going to try to put sand on it. Okay. Where? Which paintbrush? Does it matter? So you need a, You're going to want a flat brush so you don't get a lot of smaller fat brush. So I would try this okay. one or. You want something a little bit bigger. You don't need an angle brush, but here. If you want a fatter one, you can use that one. Use this one for the dark blue then, if you want. Well, I could just wipe it off. Yeah, you could pick it up. You could dip your finger in there too, you know? Very pretty, but I don't want to mess with it. Not it's your painting, you know. No, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it because people are gonna see me doing this. Right. Remember, once it's dry, you can always do it then too. Since it, I, since you got your colors mixed. I thought now would be a good time since you have some paint left over in those cups. 
or it could put a lid on them and do it later. I might leave some of the talking in because, you know, a lot of people say they like what, listening to us together. Yeah. Okay, well, if you want me to, do you want me to take this other paintbrush and get the back? See, the whole back needs okay. to be painted. Okay. All right. I'm going to just paint that right there, see? Because since it's the paint is thicker on top, but you're going to get a little color there. Because I don't want to put that right there. Since it was so thick and fought over the sides, this isn't going to work. The canvas is showing through too much. You know? I think you're going to have to wait till it dries, Doris, and then go ahead and do the dark blue on the side. Because this is not going to work. See what I'm talking about? You have to almost pour it on there, you know. Wait till it's dry and then it can cover it with regular paint instead of mixed it. It's not mixed with Floetrol, you know. And you don't want to keep doing it that way because then you're going to have to sand it. Or there'll be globs of paint that are be thick like drips. You don't want that. Well, there's going to be drips under there anyway. No, I mean on the sides of the painting though. Okay, so I'm going to call this one done. My camera's still going. Yeah. Um, let me turn it around so everybody can see. So, this is my very first successful beach pour. Uh, sometime I'll show you my unsuccessful one I did last year. Where the water kind of went goop. <laughs> Anyway, so thank you all for watching. Love the fluid arts right out of you. If you like the video, please click the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, the ring the little bell for notifications. And all I can say is bye for now. Toodaloo.